Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is one of their true intentions in love. Once again, yes it is. So this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is a reading between you or about you and your person. Don't really have to be with them. Just need a romantic connection of some sort. Possibly a spiritual one. <clears throat> some people are uh, spiritually connected. Uh, yeah, they are definitely. So let's see what we have for... Uh, destiny and confusion. Okay, these cards wanted cards wanted to come out, Virgo. Maybe you are confused about your destiny. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly the case here. Let's see what we have. And uh, the bottom of the deck over here is the King of Cups. This can talk about Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe you are. Uh, sometimes the King of Cups is about somebody who is in love with somebody, or somebody who uh, you know, somebody who can. Handle their emotions well, okay? It's next to the Nine of Swords, though, so maybe nobody's handling their emotions very well here. I feel like they are not. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody is in love, okay? I'm going to leave these cards right here. Yeah, and uh, let's see what we have right now, Virgo. Your energy is the Page of Pentacles. Reversed. Your person is in the devil's house. They look like they are leaving. Looks like your person's uh, leaving on a freight train. Yeah. Uh, John Denver used to sing that song. <laughs> Let's see what we have, you guys. Let's see, Virgo. The challenge for your person, I feel like, is you. The Knight of Pentacles, and the challenge of the block for you is the Five of Cups. Okay, so you look like it looks like there are decisions being made or analysis in this reading, and uh, there could be a Sagittarian in here. Possibly the Temperance card is showing up in the reading, and the card of Pisces. So maybe there is a Piscean here as well. So let's see. There could be a Capricorn. And then, of course, when we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But let's see here. Regardless of the signs, let's see what's going on. What is the Page of Pentacles? What is that all about for Virgo? It's, it's in the reverse. This means that things uh, sometimes are not working out. It can mean somebody wants a new start in something sometimes, and uh, it's kind of eluding them. Let's see what the Page of Pentacles is about there. In the reverse with the Knight of Swords. Somebody, I feel like Virgo, you want a new beginning with somebody and an ending. This Page of Pentacles is reversed because, uh, it can be reversed for a few reasons, but I feel like you want a new start with somebody. You want this in the upright, but you have to end something over here first. The death card. Yeah, you have to end a union. You could be feeling really restless right now, Virgo. Uh, and this could be saying, too, that you want to cut something out, something that's not working. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Something that you don't see value in anymore. Like, you might you might want to move on. It looks like your person wants to move on right here, right? The Eight of Cups. And you could be dealing with... A Piscean, right? Showing up in your energy. And in the past, this is the past dynamic. I beg your pardon, you guys. I switch up these spreads sometimes. And this is the past dynamic for you. You you could have ended something, right? You could have. And uh, it's just going to depend. I'm not really sure you did it. I don't think you did end, end something. I feel like your person's ending it now. Mm -hmm. I feel like you wanted to, but... Uh, it's going to depend here, but there's some type of ending in the recent past or a wanting of an ending. Why is that hangman there? This is currently what is going on currently. The hangman reversed, the nine of cups, and the king of wands. This could be talking about somebody really wants to be with the king of wands. Possibly somebody wants to be with a Piscean. But the nine of cups is in the middle between the Pisces and the King of Wands card. I feel like somebody has somebody a wish here that they really want. And this is you, Virgo. I feel like you have to end something 
in order to, you know, have your wish come true, the Five of Cups in the block for Virgo, Chariot card, could be dealing with a Cancerian. Yeah, this is like having victory in an ending at the same time. This is the block. Yeah, you have to end something. Wow, and it's going to be really sad. In order to have a rebirth with somebody else, judgment. That's right there. Three of Swords, yes. Third party energy, heartbreak. Seven of Cups. This is a really hard choice for you to uh, choose an ending here, to have victory with somebody. That's how it looks. For some of you guys, you are sad because somebody's ending something with somebody else, uh, ending it with you, right? But it looks like you want a rebirth with someone, and the King of Swords is showing up, and this is going to be your doubts. I mean, uh, sorry, this is going to be your desires, what you want, see what we got. You want, uh, you want to take a leap of faith on somebody. You want a new start with somebody. You want a new adventure. You want a new life. That's how it looks over here, Virgo. Uh, sorry, guys. You guys, this is such an honor. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and let's see. So... This is what you want, Virgo. This could be saying you want to make a decision about your about your marriage, the Hierophant, King of Swords, Hierophant, to have like a new adventure or a new start with somebody, to start all over, possibly with them. And when we see judgment in the reading, I feel like this is somebody from the past that you want a second chance with, but you're leaving behind, behind heartbreak to have it. Wow. And in your doubts is the magician. Why is that there? The tower, you're afraid you can't manifest this with this person, this rebirth, Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after. Queen of Cups, you're afraid you can't manifest something because somebody else could be in the tower, too. Yeah. You could be worried about your money, possibly. Six of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups. Like, you could be in a marriage where there is some money. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. So let's look at your person's energy. And let's kind of go from there, right? This is a puzzle, isn't it? Let's see what we got. The Devil card for your person. It could be a Capricorn. I feel like they are in fear. I feel like they are. With the Three of Cups, yeah, about a third-party reconciliation. Not just any third party, Virgo. You're trying to reconcile with somebody. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. And there you are in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a, a Capricorn over here. And the Eight of Cups is crossing. Is so This is in the past, actually. Your person had a lot of fear that you were going to... Wow, I keep forgetting this is the past. Your person had a lot of fear you were going to reconcile with this other person. And here they are currently walking away because of an empress. Wow, could be a Libra here, Taurus. Two of Cups, they're walking away. This could go either way. Your person could be walking away to be with an empress. Yeah. But this reading is clear. Somebody wants to be with somebody they're in love with. And this person, whoever they want to be with, is somebody from the past. Yeah, in order to have a rebirth. Yep. In order, in order to start all over. And this is your person, most likely, in this energy, the Nine of Swords, next to the King of Cups. Worried. They were worried in the past. Yeah, they were. And in their block, it looks like it is you, Virgo, uh, blocking your person. Why is the Knight of Pentacles blocking them? Because you want someone else. Ace of Cups, definitely. Six of Swords. This is what is blocking your person. You're leaving to have a new opportunity with someone else. Wow. And in their desires is the Six of Wands. They still want victory. They still want to win in the situation. Why is the Six of Wands there? Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This is what they want with you. The Moon card. They could be Pisces. I feel like they are Pisces or Cancer for a lot of you guys. Mm -hmm. And this is also, you know, 
Let's see. What is that? Moon card there? Let's get one more card. What is it? Moon card there? Lover's card. Yeah, they want you to choose them. Your person wants you. They want to recover the situation. Four of Swords. And Temperance is going to be their doubts, their worries, their fears. What is it? Temperance card there. Remember the King of Wands is in the reading. So this King of Wands could be Aries or Sagittarius. The card of Leo is not in the reading yet. No, it is not. And here it is right here, the Sun card. Right next to the Sagittarius. This is Leo and Sagittarius, uh, you know, zodiac, zodiacally speaking. <laughs> see what we have, you guys? This, this sounds like a poor term. And let's see, your person, what they are doubting... They're doubting their happiness. That's how it looks here in a union. Why do they have the Ten of Pentacles? Why do they have the Ten of Pentacles? This is their fear. They're fearing, uh, I feel like they are fearing their own clarity and their own happiness. This is what they think. They think you're going to have victory. They think you're going to be happy with someone else. And this is, yeah, they are doubting their union over here, Ten of Pentacles. We're going to go over to Vimeo to find out, uh, Virgo. Yeah, we are all about your person. All the extended readings are super affordable. If you guys uh, want to crosswatch, yeah, you can see all of them. We're going, to, we're going to see their true intentions, how they feel, what they could be hiding or fearing. Yeah, the reading could be switched as well. And also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here today.